Hi, my name is Iza. Really liked all of your videos and thank you for sharing. I had an interesting time finding research. It was kind of surprising how little information there is available about Chicana women and indigenous women history. Um, one of the people I did find a lot of information on was Sofia Mendoza. She was born in San Jose in 1934 and lived until 19, lived until 2015. Um, I, let's see, she, uh, she became an activist when she got married and moved to East San Jose from a different part of San Jose and was really shocked and appalled by the conditions of the schools there that her kids were up against. So she started an activist group called United People Arriba and the goal of this group was to bring different ethnicities and races of people that were struggling in the neighborhood together to, um, to organize for change. Uh, they were successful and she got 36 teachers and the principal removed for being racist and using corporal punishment against the kids. She also was involved in action against police brutality in the San Jose area. She was part of forming an organization called the Community Alert Patrol, which went around before cell phones. So this is in the 1960s Chicano movement. The, uh, the Community Alert Patrol went around with cameras and um, recording and equipment to document police brutality so that people could hold up their cases in court. Uh, they did get the police chief that was in power at the time removed. Um, a quote that I found from Sofia Mendoza that inspired me I got directly from one of her YouTube videos where she's speaking at a conference. She says about her successes in community organizing. You know I'm only one person and I'm totally helpless. It wasn't me, it was the community. Um, I, this quote is meaningful for me because my grandparents were also community organizers and these are the type of values that they pass down along to me. Um, yeah, my grandparents were, were activists with Chicano activists in that movement also, um, as well as having Chicanas in my family. It's important to me to understand this historical perspective. It was really missed out on in a lot of my early education um, history class in Idaho or in Oregon as well as in college just there's like a huge missing piece um, also just as a person living in the United States on indigenous land I feel like it is very important to know the history of the people that were here before colonization and that are still here and to still tell their story post-colonization. So I'm really grateful that this class exists and I'm super excited for it. Also, uh, my pronouns are they, them, and I really enjoyed all your videos. Thanks.